Have you ever watched a movie that left a lasting impression on you? One such film featured an actor who truly stood out for his incredible performances. He's well known for his roles in various movies and shows. One of his most famous works is a movie called Amadeus, where he played a character named Antonio Salieri. Many people think this role defined his career. He even won an important award for his performance in that movie. When you think about his work, Amadeus often comes to mind as one of the best things he's done. What's your favorite memory of his performances? Share your thoughts below and keep an eye out for more interesting facts about him in this video. In the heart of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a young man was born on October 24, 1939. Growing up in a bustling city, he faced the typical challenges of youth. Coming from a hardworking Italian-American family, he learned the value of diligence and developed a love for the arts from his parents. As he grew, his interest in acting blossomed. Despite initial opposition from his family, he pursued his passion relentlessly. Graduating from the University of Texas at Austin in 1960 with a degree in theater marked a turning point, laying the groundwork for his future endeavors. Moving to Los Angeles, he delved into the world of theater and television. The 1970s saw gradual but steady progress in his career. His talent began to earn recognition both on stage and on screen. However, it was his portrayal of Antonio Salieri in a certain film that changed everything. This role not only earned him an Academy Award, but also solidified his position in the industry. Opportunities poured in, allowing him to showcase his versatility in various projects. Throughout his journey, he continued to impress audiences with his skillful portrayals. His involvement in well-known projects further enriched his already impressive body of work. Looking back, his early experiences, family support, and pivotal role in that certain film shaped his remarkable career. Today, his work stands as a testament to his dedication and passion for the craft. Imagine a famous actor who's been in many movies. In one well-known film, he played a character named Antonio Salieri. There's a scene where he struggles to follow Mozart's directions because the other actor keeps messing up on purpose. Before he became famous, he learned acting from Uta Hagen in Greenwich Village. Besides that movie, you might also recognize him from Star Trek Insurrection and Scarface where he acted alongside Greg Henry. He's been acting for a long time and still impresses people with his skills. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and raised in El Paso, Texas, he hailed from a family with diverse roots. His father, Fred Abraham, came to the United States as a Syrian immigrant, while his mother, Josephine Abraham, was of Italian descent and born in Pennsylvania. In the early stages of his career, he gained visibility through a series of television commercials for Fruit of the Loom underwear, embodying the character of the Bunch of Grapes. However, it was his role as Antonio Salieri in the film Amadeus that brought him widespread recognition. This film marked a unique occurrence in Oscar history, as both he and his co-star Tom Hulse were nominated for Best Actor, with him ultimately clinching the coveted award. F. Murray Abraham, like many actors, faces pressure to stay young in the entertainment industry. This pressure comes from the desire to maintain relevance and secure roles in a competitive field where youth is often prized over experience. Despite his accomplishments, he grapples with the expectation to appear youthful to continue his career. Beyond the pressure to stay young, F. Murray Abraham encounters other significant struggles in life. These may include navigating the unpredictable nature of the acting profession, facing rejection, and balancing personal life with demanding work schedules. He must also contend with the scrutiny of public opinion and the challenges of maintaining authenticity in a world that often values image over substance. Despite these struggles, F. Murray Abraham remains dedicated to his craft drawing on his passion for acting to overcome obstacles and continue pursuing his artistic goals. He understands that resilience and perseverance are essential qualities in an industry that can be both rewarding and unforgiving. F. Murray Abraham appeared as Clyde in They Might Be Giants, alongside Oscar winners George C. Scott and Joanne Woodward, as well as Oscar nominee Jack Guilford. He shared the screen with notable talents in this film. Tragically, he lost both his younger brothers, Robert and Jack, in separate automobile accidents. This personal loss undoubtedly left a profound impact on him. In Scarface, he portrayed Omar Suarez. During a scene where Omar faces execution by Sosa, there's a subtle yet memorable moment where his shoe slips off from the helicopter. This small detail adds a layer of authenticity to the character's demise. These instances showcase F. Murray Abraham's versatility as an actor, from sharing the screen with esteemed colleagues to adding nuanced details to his characters. 
His career is marked by such moments that highlight his dedication to his craft. In Serpico, he portrayed a detective partner alongside Al Pacino. Interestingly, about a decade later, Pacino reunited with some of the Serpico actors, including him, for the iconic movie Scarface. During his role as Antonio Salieri in Amadeus, he spent approximately four or five hours daily in the makeup chair to transform into the aged Salieri. Amadeus stands among the select seven films to earn more than one Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Alongside Tom Hulse, he received this nomination, a feat achieved by only a handful of films in history. Notably, he and Maximilian Schell are the only ones among these actors to win the Academy Award for Best Actor for their respective performances. In a well-known movie from the 1990s, one actor worked with Kim Cattrall and later appeared in a Star Trek series. Cattrall also starred in a Star Trek movie released in 1991, while he joined the franchise in 1998. Another actor, recognized for his role in Mighty Aphrodite, later played a villain in the Star Trek universe. In Scarface, he acted alongside Al Pacino and two other winners of the Academy Award, along with three nominees. The connections between these actors and their roles in both films and the Star Trek franchise show their versatility and lasting impact in Hollywood. From collaborating with famous stars like Pacino to smoothly transitioning into well-known sci-fi series, these actors have made a lasting impression on the industry. Their ability to play various roles, from serious crime dramas to futuristic adventures, demonstrates their talent and broad appeal to audiences worldwide. It's a sign of their skill and ability to adapt that they fit seamlessly into the Star Trek universe, adding new layers of depth to beloved characters and storylines. This is the timeless charm of movies where actors like F. Murray Abraham leave their mark on entertainment history creating a lasting impression for future generations. Amidst the glitz of Hollywood, one actor's journey saw highs and lows. He missed out on a big role in a famous movie, lost another to someone else, but still landed a spot in Scarface, acting alongside big names like Al Pacino. However, trouble brewed when he got kicked off a show due to accusations of misconduct on set. He said sorry publicly, making it clear he didn't mean harm. Despite the setback, he's still known for his acting skills and continues to draw attention from fans worldwide. In the movie Amadeus, he played Antonio Salieri, a character who felt really jealous of Mozart's talent. He did an amazing job in this role, showing how Salieri was struggling with his feelings. Interestingly, both he and Tom Hulse, who acted as Mozart, were nominated for the Best Actor Award at the Academy Awards. But he won the award for his role as Salieri. His performance as Salieri was not just liked by critics, but also by the audience. He showed the character's emotions in a really good way. This made people think deeply about human feelings. Besides Amadeus, he has done many great roles in his long career. He started from a small school in El Paso and later got a special degree from Ryder University in 1990. He has always worked hard and showed excellence in acting. In every role, he impresses the audience with his talent. He can play real people from history or made-up characters with great skill. He is a treasure of the movie industry, and his work will be remembered for a long time. This story talks about the journey of an actor who has done great work in movies. F.